Texas, I have been dying to make this vlog for you. Welcome back, I am Arnell, and this is another travel episode of This Beautiful Life. And this is my Africa vlog. Oh my God, Africa, such a beautiful place. For this trip, I was lucky enough to link up with Anthony and Maria Russo. They are the founders of theculturist.com, an online magazine, and they also founded Humanity Unified. I am now an official member of Humanity Unified, which is very exciting for me personally because I have been wanting to do humanitarian work and social work for a very long time. I wanted a real organization to be a part of, and I had been looking for the right one, and this one just sort of fell in my lap, and I could not ask for the more perfect union or the more perfect team or a more perfect cause. And so to tell you a little bit about what we do, we work with a local NGO, a local non-government organization called Aspire Rwanda. They're known for doing great work with the women there to help them become self-sustaining so that they can obviously provide for themselves and their families. And our first project is helping them with their agriculture project. So this is essentially providing them the means that they need in order to make this farming cooperative work so that they can rise out of poverty. So we're talking about raising money to get the proper seeds, raising money to help them build storage so that perishables can last longer, and also getting them the proper fertilizer they need and they can maximize on that revenue. These are just a few of the things that we would be taking on, but overall helping this cooperative and helping this agricultural project will help them make the money that they need in order to send their kids to school and provide for their families, provide health care for their families. Health care is required there but you can only purchase it if you have enough money to purchase it for all of your family members. It's this really weird toggle between what is required by law and means, and sadly, these people don't even have the means in order to do what is required by law. You meet these women and these kids and they're so full of life and so full of fervor. You wonder how you go about in your privileged American life complaining about the smallest things. These women live every day working on a farm in six hour heat. You can't find it in your heart to say anything about your petty little first world problems. So everything that's happening in that country today is sort of still recovering from that genocide that happened 21 years ago. Essentially after that genocide happened there was no government, there was no economy. They're trying to pick themselves back up. The women do a lot of the labor a lot of the caretaking for their children, so empowering a woman means empowering a community. These kids are so smart, you can tell that they're just hungry and they want to learn, but they don't necessarily know much else outside of their circumstances. It's crazy the difference you see when a child goes to school and when they, they don't get to. It's the difference between being able to communicate very fluently and have a full conversation with a foreigner, and then not at all. It's a stark contrast and it's insane the difference that an education can provide for not only that individual child, but for their family, for their current family, their immediate family, and then the family with their future partner. So during the one full weekend we had there, we drove to Akajara National Park, and I went on my first safari. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing like seeing those magnificent creatures out in the wild, in their natural habitat, a zoo, does not even do them justice because they're just caged up, you know, and they, you can't see the grandeur of these creatures, but when you see them in the wild and you see how commanding they are and how beautiful they move, I mean, I'll let the video speak for itself. We are at Karenge Bush Camp and you're literally out in the bush, you're literally in a tent, it's amazing. It is a six tent, 12 person campsite, so very small, very intimate. They make you breakfast and dinner in this communal tent that has a raised porch so it overlooks Lake Ihema and just has the most gorgeous view you've ever seen, both sunset and sunrise. The sunrise there is about 5.45, between 5.45 and 6.15. So I was up at 5.30 out on that porch. I can't even tell you when the last time was that I was able to just sit and appreciate my surroundings. It was absolutely beautiful. And I'm so lucky to have been on this project and to be again with Humanity Unified and to be able to continue this work because this is definitely gonna be an ongoing thing for me now. I'm very excited to see how the story unfolds. If you guys wanna learn more about our projects or get involved, please visit www.humanityunified.org. A big, huge thank you to Blur Books for making this trip possible for us. Such an amazing company with an amazing team of people. So please check them out as well, www.blurb.com 
I will be making a photo book for this trip as well, just like I did my Trinidad and Tobago trip, so please stay tuned for that. Thank you so much as always for watching and I will see you next time.